Does the wine glass matter? Yes, it does. The size and shape of the wine glass will affect your perception of the wine, which will in turn affect your experience. Of course, if you want to drink your wine in a solo cup, go ahead. But if you want to have the best experience, check out this video as we discuss wine glass shapes and when to use which glass. We invite you to watch along and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Have you ever noticed at a restaurant that when you sit down at the table, a wine glass is already there? But when you order a glass of wine or a bottle of wine, the server comes and removes the wine glass and then comes back with another wine glass. It's not because the wine glass was dirty. It's because the server was selecting the proper wine glass to serve with the wine you selected. There are different shapes and sizes of wine glasses, and there really is a difference. The shape of the wine glass will affect how we perceive the wine. This is because the shape of the glass will determine how the aromatic compounds of the wine will pass into your nose. And this is important because 90% of what we taste is actually what we smell. Different wine glass shapes will result in the way the wine hits your tongue. For example, a glass with a narrow opening will send the wine in a linear way down the center of your tongue, whereas a glass with a wide mouth will send the wine across your tongue. You see, wine has three sensations, alcohol, acid, and tannins, that we do not taste, but rather feel. This is what we call texture, and the right glass will help balance those three things for the best experience. So what wine glasses should we have? You can get geeky and have different glasses for every grape variety, but who has that kind of space at home? What we recommend are two wine glasses for red wines, the burgundy glass and the purple glass. The burgundy glass has a bowl that's extremely wide and round, allowing for maximum surface area to the wine to interact with oxygen and the aromas to collect before it tapers towards a smaller opening at the rim. You want to use this glass for light-bodied aromatic red wines such as Pinot Noir, Gamay, Grenache, and Zinfandel. The Bordeaux glass has a large bowl, but it's less tapering at the top. This larger opening allows the alcohol fumes to diffuse and cause less of a burn when you sniff the wine, while still allowing plenty of oxygen to mingle with the wine and unlock those complex aromas. This is the perfect glass for bold reds like Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Petit Syrah, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Malbec. For white wines, the two primary glasses are similar to red wines. The smaller version of the Bordeaux glass, typically called the white wine glass, is ideal for fresh, light, aromatic wines. The narrow bowl with less curve will help keep the cooler temperature. And use this glass for Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, Albarino, and Vermentino. You can also use this glass for sparkling wine. For rich white wines, such as Chardonnay, you can use the same burgundy glass as used for red wines. Again, this glass allows the maximum surface of wine to interact with oxygen, and then the aromas collect and taper at the opening. So all you need is three glasses. You need a white wine glass for light white wines and sparkling wines. You need a burgundy glass that you can use for white wines or red wines. So really, one glass for two different wines. And you need a Bordeaux glass for big red wines. And now we know you're going to enjoy your wines even better. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that you're inspired to clean out all those glasses and just minimize it down to the basic sizes you need. And we invite you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another wine tip. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.